Sagittarius. Let's take a look to see what's going on with you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Sending you all love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But... If you have birth chart placements in Sagittarius or you are dealing with someone that does have birth chart placements in Sagittarius, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below. You can also find um, information in the description box um, about that and as well as private readings. I am running a special and private reading this month. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right, what is going on with my Sag Collective? Okay, so we have the Tower in Reverse, Scorpio Energy. We have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. The Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Clarify the Tower in Reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the High Priestess. The High Priestess. The Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. And clarify the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. The Page of Pentacles in Reverse. Okay. So, back of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. And then we have the King of Swords after that in reverse. And the King of Wands. What is this? What is... Ooh, you, some, you guys got options. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you guys are going to have options options here. With the Seven of Cups. Okay. You guys got a fire sign. One of these is your match though, y'all. <sighs> you know what I'm also getting? Is that you got at least three... <laughs> It's not funny. You got at least three people here who feel like they missed an opportunity with you. They missed out on you. And I feel like all three of these people were afraid of you. Could have been an earth sign, a, a air sign, or a fire sign. There's th there's not one, but three different people that are daydreaming about you, thinking about you, wishing for you. Like, <laughs> wow. Okay. Because with the Queen of Pentacles here, you're very nurturing. You got your shit together. You can you can make good money. Like you're like you're a catch, right? A good mom or dad. Like you live a good life. You made a good life for yourself. Mm hmm. Mm. You're going to have, and I feel like these possibly, you're going to have to listen to your intuition to guide you about towards who you think, who you should be with or who you should give a chance to, if any of these people. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You guys can still be healing from some type of long-term relationship that came to an end. Yeah, still recovering from something. Stop. Somebody is viewing you as a missed opportunity. At least one person. But it definitely could be three different people. Okay, so what does this Ten of Pentacles in reverse and this Nine of Pentacles in reverse have to do with Sag? The Ace of Swords in reverse. The Four of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, there's these people that are looking at you differently. It's like they're over there struggling. Be be careful of opportunists. Tell me more. What is this? Yeah, the three of pentacles in reverse. Lack of teamwork. What is the three of pentacles in reverse? The knight of swords. I'm 
I'm telling you, something else is not working out for either, at least one person. Something else is not working out with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse and this Ten of Pentacles in reverse and this Three of Pentacles in reverse. Something is not working out or they're not working well with somebody else. And it could be all three of these people, right? I feel like these people were afraid of you, to be honest, that you intimidated them or something like that. But you got somebody that's very focused on having some type of new beginning in love with you. How's it? But why is the Two of Swords here? yeah i feel like you're not gonna know if you want to even give these people the time or at least again it could be at least one person you're gonna be very guarded like you don't know if you want to give this person or these people another chance yeah i was thinking about the emperor too when i saw all these kings out i was like where's the emperor because for some of you what is the one thing when I see a lot of kings come out together, sometimes I see it as multiple different people. And it could be for some of you. But when I start seeing a lot of kings, I start looking for an emperor card. And it is very, it's right here. And right, and right before the emperor is judgment in reverse. There is some type of divine masculine. It could be a divine feminine that is still hasn't learned the lessons that they're all the lessons that they need to learn yet. That's still doubting themselves, still resisting the universe. They they're not they haven't learned their lesson. But and whatever their lesson is, is about, because the only king that's not here is the king of cups. So they may be take, you know, they may be more action oriented and they may be with the five of pentacles in reverse. They may be getting their finances together. Like they may be more stable, but they're, they're coming out with king of swords in reverse. They're still not being honest about something. Or they're still manipulative or controlling or cold because the King of Cups is not even out here. Okay. The King of Cups is, you know, the emotions, right? Mm -mm. The, the, that's the problem. What, what's up with that? The Chariot Cancer Energy. What about the Chariot? The Four of Swords. What about the Four of Swords? The Moon. The Five of Wands Reverse. The Seven of Swords and the Star. There's been some type of injustice here. Dishonesty. What is about what? What is the lie? Mm. I'm telling you, somebody is um still holding on to somebody. Yeah, they haven't walked away from something. Of course, there's something that they haven't walked away from here. But it's not working out either with the Six of Wands reverse. They're in the Nine of Wands reverse. It's a struggle, but they haven't walked away from it. Why? Or they went back to it. I, this person may not want you to know that they went back to a situation and it didn't work out. What about the Eight of Wands? Yep. You're, all I know, guys, is that you're going to hear from somebody, but they haven't learned their lesson. Okay? I'm just, I can see it here. They just know that you're a missed opportunity. I think this person knows that you love them. All right, I think that they know that you love them. They have a lot of work to do in like becoming more emotionally mature. And I think this person has a hard time telling the truth. And that's a problem. Ooh, okay. But with that seven of cups earlier, there definitely, definitely could be more than one person pining after you or, you know, wanting another chance with you. You and you as the one that got away. Um, but there is one prominent person here. There is, there's one prominent person that they may not be saying anything to you yet, but they want another opportunity with you. But I think that they don't want to tell you the truth about why maybe they left or they ghosted you or there's something that they're not wanting to tell you the truth about here. Um... What are they not wanting to know the truth about? Or what are they not wanting to tell the truth about? And I think this person's suppressing their emotions. What are they not telling the truth about with this king? Clarify the king of swords, Rainbows. For some of you, they just are, don't have clarity. Because the king of swords could be like a lack of clarity too. Like they don't know what they want. Or like a lack of like making a decision. 
they're they're unsure about you they feel like they can't see everything clearly when it comes to you they they're conflicted they're indecisive when it comes to yeah making you the one that they choose the main person letting go of their options the interference putting their focus just on you why though because this person has a sex addiction for some of you i was kind of picking up on that they have like an issue with being a player or sleeping around and you know dealing with more than one person or some type of destructive behavior bad habit yeah wow going in circles it's again not, them not learning their lesson yeah this person is very emotionally st stunted what about home bad intentions location change changing the home feeling of home red flags lies and secrets be vigilant it's like this person always ends up coming back to you because you do feel like home to them right you you they feel something for you that they don't feel for these other options that they entertain right why do I feel like you keep encountering the same person in, in different bodies? I swear there's more than one person here. I do feel like there's one prominent one, but th you keep encountering these people that are somewhat similar and kind of do the same shit to you. They're afraid of you. They don't fully commit to you. They can't make up their mind about you. They have bad habits, addictions, ways of thinking. They're toxic. Um, they keep secrets. They lie. A lot of red flags. You, can't, you guys keep encountering walking red flags. I don't know, but... It's like, and then like you give them some sense of comfort or like nurturing or whatever. And they always end up coming back to you because they crave that. But then they like ghost you or they leave again. What about spotlight? Shocking events. Shocking events and spotlight. Habitual liar. Yeah. What is the unpredictable event? Forever change. So is somebody getting their shit together? What about finality? Again, somebody is feeling like they have to get their shit together fast. Somebody wants to put an end to them. Maybe they feel like some type of lie that they told has been exposed. Yeah. Some type of lie that they, or they, they can't hide behind their lies anymore or something like this. Or they want to put an end to that era of them being that type of person. And they feel like they have to do this quickly. Why? So what's the subject said? We have, see, wish come true. Wish fulfillment, all that you ever wanted. Dream girl, dream boy. Tell me more. We have... Yeah, look at this. You guys got a wish coming in. Renewed hope. Why? Wish come true in the star. I'm telling you, this person, my, my rock, loved and supported, sought foundation, security, and stability, holding on to hope, not taking action, stand still, delays. What about waiting, though? Broken promises. I'm telling you, this person feels like you provide them with some type of sense of security or stability, and that's why they keep like kind of stringing you along or keeping you waiting. There's something about like you guys are realizing that this per that is what this person was doing to you, stringing you along, or that they just make a lot of empty promises. What about abundance? Thorny rose. Talk about abundance and thorny rose. Plastic. Hmm. Divine intervention and soulmate. I'm telling you, you guys have somebody coming in where it's like, you guys have been through it in love or something like that. Like you keep encountering the same shitty people. But Spirit is saying that the divine is bringing you in a soul connection here. Somebody that you're going to be compatible with. Oh yeah. A friend that turns into a romantic partner or just like a friend, you, you know, you, it will be a romantic partner, but you guys will also be friends. Like, yeah, jealousy. What is jealousy here for? beauty and single somebody does not like that you are attractive and single okay but what's that do with plastic secrets what is the secret this person's been trying to pretend like they don't have deeper feelings for you i'm telling you they've been trying to suppress somebody's been trying to suppress their feelings and emotions for you just try to make it seem like it's just sexual it's not though yep love offer sincere offer of love romantic gift expressions of love okay what's that leading to but why is unrequited here Dry spell, no action in love, long time being single, sexual abstinence, ghosting, abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. What? True love. Paralyzed. Hold, I'm telling you, they know that they feel something significant with you. There's somebody that they don't feel the same way about. We have money is tight and we have romantic gestures mirroring what is it? so why we have money tight money is tight and extravagant gestures love bomber this person's going to be trying to come in really getting your trying to really get your attention 
They feel like they can't hold. Yeah, I told you somebody's been through a string of bad relationships. What does that do with you, though? Fights? Secretly stalking. I feel like this person is trying to see if you are moving on from them and if you've gotten into a relationship with somebody else. Yeah, and they're depressed about this. They're starting to feel hopeless about, like, who's going through the string of bad relationships? What does cursed mean for this per whoever this person is? They're in a mental prison. Overthink they're overthinking because maybe they haven't had luck in love either. Or they're creating scenarios. Yeah, separation. I hope this person wasn't projecting all their bad love experiences onto the relationship with you when you didn't even give. Yeah, they ran from this, avoiding the connection, running from themselves. This could be something. I swear your last reading was like somebody's fine at figuring out that they're the problem. And this person's like, this is kind of going along with that. This person doesn't want to cut. They haven't been wanting to come to terms with the fact that none of their relationships have been working out because of them. I think that they're starting to see it now. Yeah, with the cut through and the apology, they know that, yeah, this is kind of going along with la the last reading I did for you guys. Somebody is starting to realize that they were the problem and they, they do want to make something right with you. But it's almost like, dang, they're like, dang, every relationship that I get into isn't working out. And it's like, it's like getting to that point where they have no choice but to come to terms with the fact that they're the problem. And I think that they're coming to this conclusion, but now they kind of feel like you're forbidden fruit because some of you guys have learned to be happily single like you don't need this person or some of you guys don't want to be in a commitment now now you guys want to be single and focus on yourself or you at least don't want to commit to this person you're not so as easily accessible to this person what is somebody had to give up their freedom like their singlehood they could be you can't be single and in a relationship i guess maybe for some people you can be but this person was they wanted to be single and also be in a relationship with you they knew they were going to have to sacrifice something to be able to have this new beginning with you, to have a fresh start with you, but they can't let you go. So guess what they're going to do? <laughs> Look what somebody's doing because they were trying to hold on to being single and they wanted you, they wanted their cake and eat it too. Okay. That's what they wanted. They're realizing that that's not going to happen with you. I feel like you have limited your access to this person, like the access that this person had to you. So this person's kind of feeling like they have no choice now but to clean up their life, cut people out, get a divorce, end a complicated relationship, grow, heal. Yep. Love activation, twin flame ascension, heart space opening, awakening. Yep. It's like they were wanting to hold on to their old life and also try to cultivate a new life with you and it just was not going to work out that way. But I do feel like you have multiple people that are in regret over you. Like, it's not just one person. Why do I feel like you and this person have both been unlucky in love? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like they're not, I feel like you guys may, I feel like you feel like you keep meeting the same person in the same body and they keep, none of their relationships work out because they're the problem. What do they need to know about why the relationships haven't been working out for them, spirit? soulmate and we have divine intervention angels are helping trust the divine plan believe in miracles it's almost like everything happened the way that it was supposed to you guys have somebody coming in this same energy keeps coming out you guys have a soulmate that the divine is bringing in for you yeah that you're going to be dating somebody ready to start dating meeting it could be a brand new person you guys are going to maybe be getting over this past person and you know, yeah, love and grow. A love that grows, but time needs time to grow. Unexpected lessons in love. Maybe this person was just a lesson. But we have, no, we have twin flame here. Yeah, stuck in the past. Feelings of nostalgia, pleasure, and sadness. What's up to do with Sag? New love. See, there's someone better. A new love interest. Letting go of exes. Maybe you and this person both. I told you, somebody, you guys could have still been healing from some somebody that you like were with long term. It's almost like they had a long-term partner that they still needed to heal from and you did as well. Like you were holding on to some exes and they were too. That's why there were three kings that came out. 
So there's like one main person here that could be your twin flame who needed to heal and let go of some exes. Even if they weren't physically with those exes, they were still holding on to those exes and what they went through with those people, right? They weren't learning the lesson that they were supposed to learn from those situations. And the same thing applies to you. Where you guys, you guys be like, I'm not talking to that person anymore, but you still hadn't healed from them all the way. You still hadn't released them all the way. That's the problem. There needed to be some clearing here, some releasing of the past, not bringing the past into this relationship. That's why things have not been working out between you and this person. You guys had to release that baggage from the past. What about spell? What is this? Gossip. Ooh. Uh-oh, here we go with this shit. Reconciliation. Trapped in an unpleasant situation, feeling stuck, cannot escape from it. What about trapped? Two-faced, lack of expression, hiding true feelings. Yeah, old-fashioned thinking, taking dating seriously, takes things slow. Passion. What is trapped, though? Unknowing the unknowable, unconventional lifestyle, exotic, mysterious. Does this person know that you guys are intuitive or they just feel like you guys know the unknowable or something like that? And they just know that they couldn't be who they who they were with everybody else with you. It's like this person feels like to be with you, they have no choice but to get their shit together because you will know. You will know if they're out there be sleeping around and cheating and, and they're entertaining more than one person and acting on their sex addiction or whatever they got going on. What is, what's the gossip about? See, cursed again, string of bad relationships, karmic cycle, the evil eye. Yeah, somebody definitely could have been um doing, yeah, closed heart, unavailable, avoiding intimacy, emotional burdens. But what does that do with gossip though? Depression, prolonged grief, hopelessness, pessimism, feeling victimized, heard rumors about you, worried others will talk. What are they worried that people are going to say? What are they worried about people talking about? Abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. Looking your best, focusing on yourself, punishing your ex. Are there people talking about how you look good since you're not with them anymore? And what is God? I don't get it. Love offer. They're maybe talking to somebody about how they want to extend a love offer to you. But what about freedom? Beauty extravagant gestures what about freedom though no one compares to you so what about freedom against time they feel like they have to hurry up and get their shit together because you're being a little too happy on your own without them and single i'm telling you somebody had to cut off some some options or something like that love lessons learned shift in perspective right and they were listening to what people had to say too or something like that so we're going to take this over to the extended reading so we can take a deeper look at the situation Um, the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Private reading information can also be found um, in the description box. I am running a special for the month of January. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.